Welcome back to the guys. This time for another manga volume review. Welcome once again. We're going to be uh, reviewing The Tiger Won't Eat the Dragon Yet by Hachi Inaba. Uh, this is brought to you by Yum Press. Yum Press, send me this copy to review for you guys. Um, they are a huge company. I've say, say it in a lot of these reviews. Huge company with an umbrella of companies under them where they release manuas, mangas, uh, light novels, uh, y you name it. They, they're releasing it. Um, biggest company i would say in the u.s at least releasing stuff um so this is one of them that is releasing this month uh if not already released so make sure you check it out it is actually a decent story it's very interesting um i will say there is some taboos uh taboo themes to it that i will mention um and it's just taboo if uh, I'll mention them in my review, but um, <laughs> there's some taboo themes on it, but it's still pretty good. It is uh, a very easy read, so if you're looking for something to read uh, easily and uh, something new, this is this is the one for you. Now, before anything else, guys, if you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. Again, if you haven't done so by now, um, check out my other reviews on Yen Press. I have quite a bit of them. You can go to my channel and just put the impress and you have uh, probably over 50 if not 100 videos on just the impress stuff so uh, make sure you check that out now on my channel because there's a lot a lot of reviews that I have released already so uh, give them some love they deserve it great company and um, you know I work I work side to side when it comes to reviews so I do thank them for for the support that they showed this channel so uh, okay the tiger won't eat the dragon yet. First of all, we're going to talk about the fact that uh, these two characters here in the front cover, the boy and the girl, they transform into their perspective um, animal. The girl is a white tiger, and then the boy is a dragon. And I want to say... 25% and if not maybe 30% of the series is very much just action action going on right that's why it makes it it's, it's so easy to read because a lot of it is just visual which I like when the stories are like that especially stuff like this because it it just shows the the different panels of uh, the story and what so much an expression can say more than just words. So um, the story itself follows that there's this dragon boy who is basically just enjoying life, eating his prey, and then he's prey upon by this tiger, and he transforms into his human form, which is a little boy, and she's like, oh you're still too young. So she basically says that she's going to take him under her wing and fatten him so that she, she can eventually eat him. Well, they basically bond through the entire volume. Um, different things happen, but essentially we meet another tiger boy who wants basically to mate with her and the dragon uh, gets really attached to her. And he, at one point, like, doesn't want the tiger guy to be with the girl like she he doesn't want her to be with her and they're like find your own tiger <laughs> like he gets to that point which is kind of weird it is a almost in a 10 uh, bit romance between these two characters um it's not completely expressed but it's definitely a romance like the the way that they hug and sleep together and um he like pets her and it's like it's very much from in a romantic way um now this is where the taboo comes like whoa isn't that little boy in that uh, adult woman well yes um visually they are but in in the actual, he confesses that he's much older than her, thinking that dragons can probably live, uh, an owl says it probably lives up to a thousand years, but tigers only live about 20. So technically, yes, it's still 
probably an adult with a kid, but it's the other way around. She's probably younger than he is. Um, we just don't know it. Now, he has some baggage of his own. In fact, we see him panic at one point where a dragon shows up and he immediately says, we gotta go, right? So there's um, voice through the birds that another dragon shows up and he's like, it's... We, we, he doesn't clearly say it, but we can put one and one together, and it sounds like it's, it's its mom. And eventually, the story explains to us that dragons essentially became a huge prey to a lot of other animals because of rumors that their blood will give you infinite power and their heart will give you immortality. You know, all, all these rumors that a lot of animals started eating the dragons that were coming down to, to you know, to them actually find prey so dragons started to procreate babies so that they could eat so they would just eat their kids so we don't know exactly how much of baggage it is but at the end of the volume we meet a anaconda who confesses to the tiger that she raised the dragon uh, as a kid and that's she's basically his motherly figure even though he doesn't see her like that because she basically raised him for the same reason the tiger is trying to protect him which is to prey on him eventually when he is bigger so i mean it's it's not really a motherly figure right um, that in a nutshell is the first volume. It's very cute. Um, I will say it does have tones of mature content. Um, the the backside does say older teen, and it has language, nudity, uh, sexual, and violence. I wouldn't say I don't remember any nudity to be honest. Um, there is, like I said, innuendos of like sexual acts that they do to each other, but not not really. Like it's. It's more like they like each other and they're hugging a lot. Um, violence, yeah, I can see that in language. Yeah, I can probably see that as well. So definitely not for the younger crowd that watches my videos. Just putting it out there. But it is a good, cute story uh, to start off. And it is it is the first volume, so I'm, I'm wondering how the second volume goes. They're on the run right now to escape the uh, bigger dragon, which, again, we don't know the whole history behind it. But from what we know, more than likely, the mom tried to eat him uh, and that's why he is running away from her so um, anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video if you haven't done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel give some love for content liking and sharing you guys can follow me on social media by checking the description below thank you for all the support that you've been showing in that social media by the way I continue doing that uh, you guys can also comment in this video and let me know what you guys think on the series and maybe I should be reviewing something else let me now thank you and like always don't be strangers see you guys